Hello, I am Vidi of Video Games for Fun, and today on the 4th of November is my 30th birthday. 30 years? What? <laughs> I'm too old for this. I swear I am good at mercenaries in Resident Evil 4, or I used to be. But seriously though, to celebrate, I have put together this trilogy, here's part one, which is the timeline of my life with video games, which I've tried to make as accurate as possible. Enjoy! It can be quite hard to remember what the first game you ever played was, but surely it was School Bus. Actually, I now know it to be a Fisher Price game called School Bus Driver, but I prefer to think of it as School Bus. In retrospect, I couldn't have asked for a better first game. The concept of pressing the right arrow key at the right time at a junction to turn the bus was a great way to learn the concept of controls and timing. Plus driving the bus around the maze, picking up the kids and taking them to school was fun. So much fun I played it a lot. Of course that wasn't the only game that I played on the computer, and by computers back then I'm referring to pre-Windows 95. There were several good DOS games to play, including Aladdin, Countdown, the Commander King games, Captain Comic, DuckTales The Quest for Gold, Jill of the Jungle, Lemmings, Paratrooper, Raptor, SimCity, Skyroads, Super Solvers Outnumbered, which was known in the family as Master of Mischief, Word Rescue, and surely a number of others I'm either forgetting, including their actual names, or actually didn't play that much. One of the most notable aspects of playing all these games was actually being good, for my age, at accessing the menu, X Tree Gold wasn't it, and actually finding each game and starting it up, instead of asking my parents to do it for me. What was the first console I played on? It was quite possibly the Super Nintendo or SNES, with the game Super Mario World. It is possible I may have played on an NES or a Sega system of some sort, though I do have fond memories of playing the old Sonic games. Of course, those Sonic games weren't available on the Nintendo 64, which was the next system I discovered, though I barely knew it existed. An old friend of mine showed me Mario Kart 64, which I had trouble controlling at first. Soon after that, it would have been at either after school care or at a hospital, where I discovered Diddy Kong Racing and Star Fox 64, also known down under and in Europe as Lilat Wars. These were the games that persuaded me to get a Nintendo 64, which was the first time I actually wanted to have a games console under that television. Also released close to that time was the first PlayStation, which my cousin had. I remember playing the Crash Bandicoot games the most. At the beginning of the new millennium, I took more of an interest in handheld gaming. Close to 1997, I would have played quite a bit on the old black and white Game Boy, with games such as Donkey Kong Land and Kirby's Dream Land standing out. I also enjoyed playing Pokemon Blue on the TV using the transfer pack paired with the Nintendo 64 game Pokemon Stadium. When getting a Game Boy Color close to 2000, I spent countless more hours on Pokemon Blue. I don't have my Game Boy Color anymore, because the Game Boy Advance superseded it, with games like F-Zero, Metroid Fusion and Zero Mission, Mario & Luigi, Oh, and a port of Super Mario World. I enjoyed playing on my little system and I occasionally still do. It was during the Nintendo 64 era, I really liked reading up on upcoming games and game reviews, which led to the promotion of... the Nintendo GameCube. The PlayStation 2 also got heavily promoted, and I was one out of many that were surprised to hear Microsoft made a console in the form of the Xbox. This meant... WAR! I guess I was still really a Nintendo person at heart when I was eminent about getting the little purple lunchbox. I mean cube. But I do have fond memories of playing Halo on the Xbox, and I played other bits of games as well. My friends also had a PS2. That generation started out the same time I started in high school. But it was during high school I gradually developed more interest in retro gaming. It seemed like old games on the PC and Nintendo 64 were getting hours of playtime for the first time in years, and I loved it. Speaking of retro gaming, the Nintendo Wii was, and still is, the first console I ever got on its first day of release. That December of 2006 was where I got that Wii mode out and played Wii Sports with others, as well as got immersed in Hyrule once again in Zelda Twilight Princess. Even with the mainly first party games on the Nintendo Revolution, wait what? More time was spent on the virtual console. In 2013, I went out of my gaming comfort zone, so to speak, that included Nintendo systems alongside the PC and finally got a PlayStation system, the PlayStation 3, which was also bundled with the Tomb Raider reboot game. Getting games such as the Eco slash Shadow of the Colossus HD collection, not to mention PlayStation Network games such as Final Fantasy VII, this system saw good playtime, and is even mainly my DVD, Blu-ray and music player. Half of the year 2014 was spent travelling mainly around Europe, 
During that time, I played on my 3DS, which I got either late 2013 or early 2014, especially the Zelda games. That trip in Europe finished in August 2014, and then I moved out to the flat I live in now as of this upload. That's also the reason why my PlayStation 3 is my DVD slash Blu-ray slash music player. <laughs> Soon after that, my cousin gave me a Super Nintendo and a bunch of games, because he didn't have room for it. Speaking of the SNES, one of my other cousins had one, with games like Donkey Kong Country, for the longest time, especially during the Nintendo 64 generation. And now it's... gone. <sighs> With the Wii U generation, I hesitated on the thought of getting new systems. With games like Pikmin 3 and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, I got that Nintendo system, which ended up not doing well, unfortunately. Alongside the Wii U, I never thought I'd get a PlayStation 4 either, but in late 2016 I got one. But hang on, aren't there any Xbox systems here you might be asking? Apart from spending time with cousins? Actually, an old friend gave me an Xbox 360, because they didn't want it anymore? Also, if you're watching this, I miss you. We talked excitedly about Breath for a while, and then... nothing. To conclude this timeline, I got a Nintendo Switch bundled with Super Mario Odyssey, and then ordered a PlayStation 2 online for some PlayStation 1 and 2 games. Overall, it's been an interesting and generally memorable 30 years, almost. As I've gotten older, I've liked analysing games as much as having fun with them. To me, they are more than toys. Speaking of which, this was part 1. Join me for part 2 where I look back at my life with video games again to pick my top 10 soundtracks. Until then, have a good day or night or whatever it is and happy birthday to me. Uh, hooray!